Shapiro, senior editor, Breitbart News, author of Bullies. Ben, does she deserve this award? For what? For, for courageously coming forward, for having been an athlete of great prowess and now fighting a new battle. Uh, what exactly is the battle? I mean, self-definition is what you do, and my baby's doing it 18 months old. I wasn't aware that you get a medal for it. To come out transgender is horribly difficult. It is the most difficult thing you can do. I've been overseas. I've flown uh, uh, helicopter missions, surveillance missions. I've been shot, stabbed. Being brave is being yourself, and being transgender is it's about the bravest thing you can do. Did with she deserve the award? Yes. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Uh, it's not delusion. Why, why would delusion. you call it delusion? Because Bruce Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. The, You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because disrespect. It, okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male with the exception of some of his sperm cells. You it turns out that his brain structure is male. Wait, I need it to... turns out that he still has all of his male appendages. But How this... he feels on the inside is irrelevant but... to the question of his biological sex. I'm not, I don't I... agree with that. I'm not on that train. I'm not on that train. <laughs> she she wants to be called she. I'm going to call her she. I just have a problem with the message and the messenger. Zoe, well, let's, let's, now let's, I'm going to do two things. I want to re reiterate what Zoe said, which is the bifurcation of the courage to come forward after a lifetime as a male and a certain kind of a male versus did she deserve this award. Listen, awards, what are award ceremonies except an opportunity to catch some eyes? Especially and, the ESPN. So, uh, yeah. it's like ESPN, well, well done, ABC. Yeah. They did exactly what their job was, oh, attract eyes. They did it. That's what award ceremonies are for. But... In terms of the science behind gender uh, dysphoria, you, you're very familiar with that, Zoe. Very it's, familiar. It, it's not about the chromosome. Excuse me, the chromosomes within we our both know nuclei. That yeah, chromosomes go ahead. don't necessarily mean you're male or female. Gender. With gender. Gender of identity. Go ahead. No, so Especially, what, but even so, you have a thing like Kleinfelter's syndrome. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss the genetics? Or well, well, no, what no. Are your genetics. Sir? I, I, so let's stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. No, no. I know. Well, yeah. but wait, to be fair, but to be fair, wait, but to be fair, but to be fair, but to be fair, you are, but to be fair you're being, actually being hey kind guys, of rude. You're and, that, no, 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 and, and that's no, no, no. not fair. I'm sorry, it's not rude to say that someone who's biologically a male sir. is a male. You just someone who's biologically sir. male is a male. But Mr. So, Shapiro, you know, you knew very well that saying that to Zoe would be. Would be inflammatory. egregiously insulting. It's not a matter of insulting or inflammatory. It is. It's a fact. No, well, well, you're right. Sir, you're sir, you're right. Hey, uh, on, a, on, the, on paper, okay. what yeah. is a fact is a fact, and I, yeah, I, I can't deny this, that. This but you knew that going in, that, that to saying that to Zoe would be aggressively insulting. It's a matter of aggressively insulting. It is. It's the entire discussion is whether we are embracing mental illness and delusion as a society. That's the entire discussion. No, 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 no. But that ben Shapiro is editor-at-large at Breitbart.com and the author of Bullies, How the Left's Culture of Fear and Intimidation Silences Americans. So why am I off the rails, Mr. Shapiro? Uh, you know, honestly, Pierce, you've kind of been a bully on this issue because what you do, and I've seen it repeatedly on your show, I watch your show, um, and I've seen it repeatedly, what you tend to do is you tend to demonize people who differ from you politically by standing on the graves of the children of Sandy Hook, saying they don't seem to care enough about the dead kids. If they cared more about the dead kids, they would agree with you on policy. I think we can have a rational political conversation about balancing rights and risks and rewards of all of these different policies, but I don't think that what we need to do is demonize people on the other side as, as being unfeeling about, the, about what happened in How Sandy How dare Hook. you accuse me of standing on the graves of the children that died there? How dare you? I've seen you do it repeatedly, Pierce. Like I say, how dare you? Well, I mean, you can keep saying that, but you've done it repeatedly. What you do, and I've seen you do it on, on the program, is you keep saying to folks that if they disagree with you politically, then somehow this is a violation of, of what happened in Sandy Hook. And you have yet, I, I, I'd really like to hear your policy prescriptions for what we should do about guns. Because you say that you respect the Second Amendment, and you yeah. know, I brought this here for you so that you can read it. It's the Constitution. And I, I would really like for you to explain to me what you would do about guns that would have prevented what happened in Sandy Hook. If you want to do what you did in the UK, right, which is ban virtually all guns, that is at least a fair argument. And we can have a discussion about whether that's something that we ought to do well, or I've not. I've made it very clear what I want to do, which is exactly what Mark Kelly wants to do. And in fact, rather than address okay, so your... let's talk about that. Rather than address your comments to me about uh, standing on the graves of children at Sandy Hook, you can address them to Mark Kelly because he agrees with everything that I've been saying because he feels the same way as does his wife. They're gun owners. 
They both respect the Second Amendment of the Constitution. They don't want to take away anybody's right to defend themselves with guns. Well, they, they want to take away certain types of guns, obviously. They want to take away assault weapons, which are capable with magazines like we saw at Aurora and Sandy Hook, of unleashing... Uh, a ridiculous amount of bullets. Well, this is a question I wanted to ask you, Pierce, because I've seen you. I've seen you talk about assault weapons a lot, and I've seen Mark Kelly talk about assault weapons. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of murders in this country that are committed with mm -hmm. guns are not committed with assault weapons; they're committed with handguns. Okay, so, are you willing to ban handguns in no, this country across no, the country? No, that's not what I'm asking for. Why not? Let me ask you. Don't you care about the kids who are being killed in Chicago as much as the kids in Sandy Hook? Yes, I do. Then why don't you care about about banning the handguns in Chicago? I wanted to share with you, according to Pew Research. The net worth of white families in 2013 was 141,000. For black families, it was 11,000, even less than the 19,000 it was in 2007. According to economist Edward Wolf of the University of New York, excluding vehicles and other durables, the median black family worth is just $1,700, while 40% of black families have zero or negative wealth. White family worth in terms of uh, financial worth, is 69 times more than that of black families. Given this disparity, how can you argue that racism is not a driving factor in income inequality? Because it has nothing to do with race and everything to do with culture. And when you have a culture that doesn't... And when... And when it, you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. Explain that one to me. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher than whites are shooting each other. Explain to me why 13% of the population is responsible for 50% of the murder. Explain to me why the, why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain, if it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement has made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened.